Next, the basketball coach who's been teaming up with Britain's tallest man to inspire kids in East Leek and beyond to take up the sport. Mark Waters has been running basketball wow days, travelling the country to teach tricks and play high octane games. He started out the classes in 2014 with former Harlem Globetrotter Paul Sturgis. He now runs local team, the East League Globetrotters 2. Wonderful to be joined by Mark Waters. Um, Mark, tell me how you came to be teamed up with a former Harlem Globetrotter. Well, our paths crossed in 2009 and then uh, we were connected on social media and Paul went off to play for the uh, world famous Harlem Globetrotters. And then he contacted me on Facebook and said, if I was doing anything with children, then could he do it with me? So we began in 2014 visiting local schools to inspire the children through basketball. Uh, and it was such a success that we decided to uh, set up a club in East Leek called the East Leek Globetrotters. What's it like when you turn up in a school with the tallest basketball player in the world and a load of basketballs and excited kids, I, I can imagine? Yeah, it's surreal almost. And it's such an exciting day we had in schools because obviously children don't uh, often get the opportunity to meet the tallest man in Britain and the tallest uh, professional basketball player in the world. And the kids were so excited and it was a great opportunity uh, for us to share positive messages through assemblies with the children about how they should um, live a healthy lifestyle and look after their bodies and keep themselves fit and healthy. And then also for them to identify their gifts and talents and then work hard in life to be first in the gym, last out of the gym. And then we used to share messages with the children about how we were all unique and how we should be proud of who we are. And Paul used to uh, share, obviously spoke about how he was seven foot eight and how he was different, but he had embraced this difference and had opened up all these opportunities for him to travel the world, playing for the Harlem Globetrotters and now to get into a career in acting. So it was a great opportunity. And certainly we were told by the teachers and the children and the parents, we received a lot of messages about how much the children had joined our visits and how it inspired them and how it was the best day of their lives. So that was really um, encouraging for us too. And from there, the Sleep Globe Trotters were born. How much of a difference has um, the sport made in, in the community of Eastleek, do you think? Well, yeah, we've got lots of children coming and the club's grown. In the last three months, it's grown by a third. So we have just under 60 children, boys and girls, age five to 15 years, come along on a Friday, uh, three till five at East Leek Leisure Centre. Uh, we've split the group recently, so now we have a, an older session first, followed by a session for primary children afterwards. And then we've shown the children how they can progress in the sport. So we've now got children going to play for the county. So I was at the um, county training session on Saturday with my son and his friend Sam. And then we've had other children that have gone on to play for the Leicester Riders, a professional team and play in the National League. And then uh, a couple of other boys that have gone off to play for the Nottingham Hoods. And a young lady that got into it. Um, from Sutton Bonington Primary School and now she's travelling the country uh, representing the Nottingham Wildcats in the National League under 14 so it's been a tremendous success. Basketball feels like a growth sport, it feels like it's growing all the time. How strong would you say it is in Nottinghamshire and in, in the East Midlands then? Yeah, I mean, it certainly is a sport that's growing. I mean, uh, football's always going to be the number one sport in our country, but I think basketball's probably the number two sport now. And certainly, um, you know, with the internet and television, uh, you can get NBA channels and the sport is growing in this country. There's a lot more children, a lot more people playing it. And um, it's not just for boys as well, it's for girls. So you have the WBBL, which is the Women's British Basketball League, as well as the Men's British Basketball League. And over in America, as well as the NBA, you have the WNBA. So they're professional female athletes that are representing clubs at a very high level. So it certainly is an all-inclusive sport and it is a sport that is growing in this country. We've not got long left, but in 10 to 15 seconds, can you tell me why you love basketball and why other kids should get involved? Well, I love basketball because uh, it's a sport that's played in, inside, so you're not, um, you're not reliant on the weather. Uh, it's a sport that I think children find easy because it's throwing and catching. Uh, it's also a, a sport both for boys and girls. Um, and it's just been a fantastic experience traveling the country with Paul and inspiring children and being a, a role model for these children. Mark, thank you so much. Really thank fascinating you, to speak to you. Uh, next.